Hey everybody, how you doing? NASCAR Xfinity Series at Talladega. I'll be in the GoPro Mustang number one, and yes, you're seeing that right. I am starting pole on a field of 33. Race length is 60 laps, which equals 160 miles. Talladega Super Speedway, known for spawning the big one. A 2.66 mile trioval with massive 33 degree banking in the turns, 16 degrees of banking through the trioval, and 5 and 3 degree banking on the front and the back stretch, respectively. All right, Talladega take two. Another 200 in the lobby. This is uh, 8 o'clock at night. It's just an hour after the other race ended. I'll put the, both of these on as a double header, as you've seen. And. Uh, I lost some eye rating, as you can see, um, $16.99 versus, uh, what was it, a $17.47 or something like that. But anyway, finished uh, 23rd in that first race after getting dumped on the 10th lap. Anyway, another 200 in the practice lobby, yada, yada, yada. Everything shook out. I'm the number one seed car, and I managed to pull out pole. Holy smokes. I was kind of actually hoping that I would be a very high seed card, high seed car in this race you know, like a 27 again or something like that, and I fully intended on starting in the back. Well, number one seed car, half the field doesn't qualify. That would put me right smack dab in the middle of the field. As things would have shook out, I would have been in 19th spot, and to hell with that. So I qualified. Using the same Majors Garage driver setup that I paid for with my Oval Pass for a month that I mentioned in the first race, so... Okay, GoPro uh, Ford Mustang GT, second time yeah, around. New additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. Let's uh, got some very high seed guys up here again. Wow, seed doesn't mean anything at, at Dega. So we'll just uh, see how this all shakes out. Outside pole did not show up. That'll bring the outside line up. I did have a qualifying setup from majors for this and I almost forgot to change it. Got it the last second. That last race, uh, the first couple starts and restarts, they uh, the leader held everybody until the check until the green light came on and then even a half a second later than that, and I'm not sure why that was. You're not supposed to jump the, the green flag here at the super speedways because you can get freight trained. However, I have seen that work to some limited success occasionally. And it, it doesn't seem to be as detrimental as it does in real life. So I'm gonna go a little early. Not too much, but a little. I'm not gonna wait to hear green flag, green flag. And remember, the outside lane seems at times to stall. Get ready to roll here, man. That's fun.
outside. Why are you slowing down? Let's you go. Do. Keep your fucking foot into the throttle until you get to the pace car. I do not understand this. It makes no fucking sense. You know what time it is? Crank that knob to 11.
on the last race, after a few laps, everybody kind of spread out on the track. Outside. Still there. Still there. Two right outside. Only one outside right now. Two outside. That was ballsy. Two outside. Clear, 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 clear. Outside, outside. Still out there. Still out there. Still out there. Water Still Ooh. out there, man. We got shit going on here. Still out there. Right outside. Still there. One outside. Might be about time Still to uh, right think outside. about dropping back just a little bit. Zero. Eight. Eight. Still there. One outside. Clear outside. Outside. Clear. Outside. Still outside. Still outside. Still outside. Outside clear. Outside. Clear, clear, clear. Outside. Still out there. Still outside. Still out there. 51.891. Outside quarter. Two right outside. Not very talkative, man. That's some pretty intense right, shit. Line up behind the 32. You know, for somebody that's uh, normally just uh, hanging out in the back and waiting for attrition. <laughs> to go. Get your brakes set correctly. Two minutes, 27.996. You're going to line up inside. All right, my spidey senses are saying drop back a little bit. So get a couple laps. So after the restart, let a couple laps shake out. See if there's a gap that I can drop back just a little bit and get out of this uh, front mess here. Only lap 13. So far everything's been behind us. I think that's about ready to change.
Okay. That's feeling like a good plan. You know, it takes two laps for these cars to come up full solid. Get about two laps in, see how it shakes out. If there's a gap, I'm going to drop back to it. We can get a line and stay in it. Outside. Still out there. Clear. Good job, my man. Keep it up. Ooh. 
My tires might be getting a little worn. You asshole. Still there. Still there. Still inside. Still there. Now yeah, this is my opportunity to drop back a little Inside. bit. <coughs> I think I'll take Still it. Still there. I think I'll take it. You're clear him. behind me in my mirror. Big gap Inside. after that. Inside. I'm going to let them go too. All clear. Inside. One car inside. Clear. All right, here we go. This is where I want to be. Big separation. Three seconds behind me. All right, that's some good separation. Okay, so... This is where I want to be in the rocking chair. Be prepared to dive left or right. Okay, we've got 3.9 seconds on the car behind me now. So I should be in 15th here as we cross the stripe. Oh, I'm in 11. In 11. Well, I'm feeling the tire wear more than I ever have here at Dega. And that could be the new tire model. Everybody else is feeling it too, I think. About 13 laps to the negative on fuel. Almost uh, five seconds now back to uh, the car behind me in 12. This is what happened in the other race. It was quite interesting how uh, we kind of separated into packs. Still a lot of movement up there. Everybody kind of settled down now. Got these two on the outside that are trying to work together. They're kind of holding their own. Seven seconds back to the 12th place car. Okay. Lead draft here. First 11 cars. Breakaway.
that outside line is starting to make a little bit of a move now that there's three of them out there. About every lap they're kind of gaining a foot here and a foot there. Four laps to go to half. Ooh, there was some movement. Here we got a three pack of lappers up here. This will be interesting. And they appear to be racing. Side by side, nose to tail. Did they all get down low? No. One high, two low. Oh, this is... This more lap down car etiquette. Make us thread the fucking needle. And I gotta do it during two to try over. Oh man, you guys. I know they think they're doing the right thing by staying down low. Get out fucking high, Jesus Christ. How long have you been in this game? Alright, well that put everybody in the single file here. Pretty much got one car on the outside. This is where people might start making their moves on the outside, which is where there could be some problems. So, Two laps to go. I have seven gallons of fuel and I'm showing 16 laps, so the 10 gallons that I've got to go in is more than enough. And we got our guys on the outside again. Of course, adding fuel doesn't, you know, lengthen the pit stop or anything, but I'm thinking about it for weight, for top-end speed. And right now, the car's feeling pretty good, but I, I am feeling it in the tires, though. Ten seconds back to the next position car behind me.
I hope we have green flag pit stops. on the apron. under 10 laps on fuel. Boy, that car in second, I don't know how he's holding that thing together. This car behind me will lap down if he wants to get up into this, he can. This is right where I want to be. I wonder if any of these guys uh, were the ones who came in. I don't think so, no. We were all, we're all lead back. We're all on the same fuel. Light fuel load, we're cracking up some pretty good laps here. Okay, people are getting kind of uh, aggressive here for the fact that we're going to have to pit here a few laps. And I 
was on the pole, so I got the spot at the very end of the pit road, all the way down. Big move. He kept it off the wall though. We're going to sleep and switch and just seen us and then jumped outside. The thing is, is uh, these guys with the headsets are probably talking. We're going to pit in two laps. We're going to pit in two laps. I see Ant, here it is. I'm just gonna say, whenever I see somebody come down, I'm coming too. And I'm all the way at the end. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop on the sign. Pretty good stop. Pretty good stop. Go Mango, go Mango. To your light. Be mindful, you only have one set of cars remaining. Car is a lap down ahead of us. One minute thirty one point nine two six. Leader pit road. Yep, they're pulling away. 
Well, they're a little more aggressive coming out of the pits than I was. 53.4 on this uh, banking here, the, the apron. I've gotten caught coming off of uh, pit road to the blend line, and I think all I did was kiss the yellow. Well, in 13th, got a position car right behind me. Maybe we can hook up and catch him. It all depends on uh, how he plays. Well, I asked for a green flag uh, on the bottom. pit, and I got it. 53.481 And 10 seconds now. It's going to take a lot to catch up to that lead back. Off the road. Well, hopefully this uh, number 27 car behind me. Maybe we can go okay. Core clear. That's it, baby. Let's play the dice. Get up there. Okay, Mike. Yeah, and Michael says I'm gonna pass. Outside. Right? Still outside. Still out there. Clear. faster together. I don't know if it's enough. It won't be. Only 14 laps to go. Well, I'm in 10th. I'll be able to pass a little uh, jitterbug up here. Five. If he'd uh, hold a hold the line, we could probably go a little faster. must be a handful. Leaders off the road. Okay. Let's 
going to give us another position. You know, I thought I got out of the pits a little better than some of the cars for being in uh, 13th spot. See, we passed the pace car, guys, which means it's a whole lap ahead of us. Why are we slowing down? <coughs> well, this is going to be an interesting shootout. cars are on the lead lap. 16. Tires are track position for the shootout. Nobody coming down. Okay, <clears throat> looks like I'll be in seventh. We're on one to go. You'll be outside two minutes, 25.783. All right, we need to be behind the 17. All right, unless I can get down, gonna have to make the outside work. I don't mind being on the outside. I've uh, actually got a win here at Dega in the fixed B car. It was my second win ever.
And as you saw there, I could uh, make the outside work there. Had some help though. I about to start cleaning those tires up. I about to cars off. Be ready. 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 Green, 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 green. Okay, that worked out pretty slick. Not trying to make the move yet. We're pulling away from everybody else behind us. For now. Fucking idiot. Me. There was no middle lane. Be lining up behind the nine. Be smooth, getting that rhythm. Well, it's going to be a green-white checker, and I have to pit. You see the meatball. Behind the 29. 
fucking idiot that there was no third lane. I was trying to move up to the wall, but I didn't want to jerk the, the steering wheel, you know, and... All right, so we're gonna have to come around the 18. We're gonna have to come around the 16. Come around the 19. Come around the 16. All right. The road is open. Get behind the seven. Man. Come around the 19. You said it, Chad. All right, replay. I'm up high. I'm hoping somebody will come with me. It looks like the 18 is going to right here through the tri-oval. And then all of a sudden, he looks inside. There really isn't a third lane there. I see that in my mirror. I try to go out to the outside wall. He touches the 17 up into me, and I'm in the wall. Bonehead fucking move. I mean, if I hadn't have been aware like some other drivers, he would have gotten us both immediately. You know, like I said, there was no middle lane. I, I seen it, and I made the I made the move, I made the room, and then he went down low. You know, just there were some people grumbling about him not being able to hold his line. And you know, here we go again. He, he it just a little too early for that risky of a move. He should have just hung behind me. We could have made a move on the outside. Ooh, the eight to eight takes a big tumble. Let's take a look at that again real quick. He gets up in the fence and then upside down and over and over. Holy smokes. So anyway, a bonehead move ruins a lot of cars races right there at the end. As usual, here we go. See, he just goes in and forces his way through, touches the car on the inside of him and then up to me. Uh, as usual, he, he, he continues pretty much unscathed and I think he finished 10th, I finished 24th. That did lead two laps though. <laughs> Anyway, here we go again. Watch this. He goes down, touches the 17, up into me. Touches the 17, up into me. Touches the 17, up into me. God damn, it's just so frustrating. Here's a really bizarre thing. This guy's been around for a long time. Has a very good record overall when it comes to incidents per race. However, his thumb, his uh, profile picture shows uh, a real race car, like a modified or something like that. And we've seen before that some of those guys are not the very smart racers. Five, four, five, four, three. So to tally it up here at Talladega, 23rd on the first race, and I finished 24th on the second race here. I don't know if there'll be a take three. Hell yeah, there's going to be a take three sometime this weekend. I've got to get at least uh, a top half of the field, if not a top ten. You know, I had the car here for the win here today. I really, truly believe just needed a little help, and I didn't get it. All right, guys, thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.